Hi everyone, Mac from Minard's Leisure World here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2020. This is the Sport Trek 241 VMS. So, this is a little bit of a new floor plan for us, but I'm really excited to show you around the trailer and show you what I like about it. So, first things first, let's talk about exterior features. Uh, of course, this is a couple's coach, half ton towable, in case you weren't aware. Uh, but on the exterior, we've got a three quarter front molded fiberglass nose cap. Nice and durable, looks really pretty too. Coming down our camp side, you'll see it is a fiberglass sidewall construction. So that's really important too. It's gonna last a good long time and look pretty doing it. You probably saw the motion sensor light kick on in our baggage compartment here. So that's really nice. But uh, Sport Trek does a great job of finishing off those baggage compartments. This of course is a full pass through and they leave a winterization hose uh, available for you in the baggage compartment. So it's really easy to do in the off season. Our baggage doors finished off with slam latches as well as these magnetic baggage door catches, which are really nice touch. I like that. Coming further down, you'll see our large 12 volt power awning with LED light strips and our outdoor speakers. You'll also notice these brand new steps. Uh, these made a big splash last year in 2019 and everybody's doing them now. Uh, these are just simply great, but they actually rest on the ground. They're mounted to the trailer and flip up inside for travel. That way they don't get all junky when you're driving. And uh, as you can see, no more bounce. So really, really cool, especially with people that have bad knees. They usually get a little lower for you. Uh, coming a little further back, I'll note the uh, bottle opener by the door. You can also use that as a dog tie down, as well as our outdoor kitchen. We made it a big priority to bring in more outdoor kitchen floor plans for those couples looking for them. Uh, and so this is another one that we did it with. Uh, this one here, you get a nice big outdoor fridge, a lot bigger than some of the small, like one cubic foot ones that you get. So it gives you a little more capacity if you're bringing some friends by, as well as a plumbed in outdoor sink. This has hot and cold water and uh, they use the handy little quick connect feature. So if you use your curly hose, you can connect it to there. It's kind of like having an outdoor shower. There's a little bit of extra outdoor storage here along with an LED light so you can see what you're doing. And there's something else really cool for 2020 on the backside, let's check it out. All right, so I think this is one of our first on the lot with this feature, but what we're looking at here is an integrated cargo rack and kayak carrying system. So if you're outdoorsy, you like to adventure and you like to bring your kayak or even smaller canoe along with you, this rack system allows you to do that. Now I just set this up by myself for the very first time and after a couple of quick corrections, it was really easy to do. So uh, after the first time, it only takes a few seconds, but really nice, sturdy, powder coated steel construction. And uh, you can go ahead and throw a kayak on the back and take it wherever you want. Now some other features I mentioned, the ability to have your outdoor shower over there. There is a dedicated one off the back. So the last thing they gave us on the backside is a mounted ladder. That way you can get up to the fully walkable roof and do some of the maintenance yourself. All right, so we just stepped inside the cab of the 2020 Sport Trek 241 VMS. Let's talk about some of the interior features. So right by the entry door, it's important to note that our main controls are located right up here, hidden away in a privacy panel. It's nice that they're up high. Little hands aren't gonna be touching them, messing around with those controls. We do also have this convenient closet right by our entry door. So you've got hanging space and a spot for shoes. Really nice to declutter. And to my left, we actually have an incredible walk-in pantry slash closet. Now it's got a motion sensor light. We also have a couple of hanging hooks on the right-hand side and three-tiered shelving. It is deep. This is a walk-in pantry. You don't often see that on a coach of this size. Um, so wonderful storage solution there from Venture. Coming further back to the driver's side of the coach, uh, you can see that uh, storage solution is kind of mirrored on this side with a whole bank of shelves um, conveniently located there just in front of the master bedroom and just off of your main living space. So lots of good dry goods storage. If you can't fit it all in that pantry, you've got a secondary pantry right there. Our one slide on this coach features the U dinette, which is great for adult sized guests. It does break down into a bed and we've got nice large windows covered with those dark pleated fabric shades. Underneath, we have cupboard doors leading to these great plastic buckets on either side. So these are great because you can bring your stuff out to you. You can even cart it right out of the coach. 
A lot of folks use this to load their camper up at the beginning of the season and unload it at the end. Tons of uses. A little further down is our two-way RV refrigerator. Now this is an eight cubic foot fridge made by Norcold. I love that brand, but this will run on propane and electric. Tons of extra space, fridge and freezer combo. Love it. Now a new update for 2020 is this small little hutch area. And this is pretty cool. So you can see the countertop is matched to what's in the kitchen, that nice seamless countertop. We have a 110 volt outlet here. So this is a perfect spot for your small appliances like a coffee maker or a toaster or maybe margarita maker. Whatever you like to have out set up ready to go, you can leave it here the whole time. Up above is some additional storage. So now under our kitchen, this is the campsite of the trailer. I mentioned that seamless countertop, really nice. You don't have to worry about spills anymore. Uh, we have this roll up stainless steel uh, drying rack. It actually comes in two parts, so you can use half the sink and dry at the same time. Really cool feature there. This is a residential faucet, so it does extend for you. Uh, right above me here is the safe tech storage that they've carried on throughout this line for a while now. We actually have USB chargers and 110 volt outlet in here. So if you need to hide away the electronic devices and just focus on camping, it's really easy to forget that they're there. Now, right beside me here is a whole bank of extra storage. So this is good for your sponges and whatnot for the sink. And below that, we've got these drawers. So organization is key when you're camping. Drawers make it really easy. Coming further down, the cabinets are large enough to fit full-size plates. I want you to see just how deep those are. That's a common question I get asked. So smart solution there. And right beside that is our stainless steel microwave, our uh, range hood with a fan, and then our three burner cooktop with the bifold glass cover. Underneath that, you get your oven. These LED lights are really nice. I call them a night light. Kind of nice for your guests. They can come to the kitchen and get what they need and not trip over anything. Carrying on from the kitchen on our campsite is the entertainment stand. And this is just in front of that walk-in pantry. So we get a nice large TV, some additional storage underneath with our multimedia unit here. This controls our sound system inside and outside the trailer. You can connect your phone, play CDs and DVDs. It's an all-in-one system. Now it isn't just for looks, this electric fireplace will actually put out 5,000 BTUs of heat. So that will help you heat your coach on those cooler nights or cooler mornings, early or late season. All right, so now at the very rear of the coach, you'll see we have a porcelain foot flush toilet and our standard sink and vanity with some additional counter space. I like the stainless steel sink. We have power and our water heater controls, as well as a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. And to the left, you're gonna notice a large wardrobe in the bathroom. This is a massive wardrobe that stands over top of the outdoor kitchen. Tons of storage in there. That can be your guest room if you want it. Now opposite of that is our full size standing shower with surround. They finish it off with a skylight for additional headroom and the basin is nice and deep. So if you do need to bath a baby or a dog, it's very easy to do so. So now we've made it all the way to the front, the master bedroom. First thing to note, this is a queen size bed. Uh, standard storage around the bed, we have our hanging closet either side, as well as our overhead cabinets, that is pass-through storage. This year, Sportcheck went ahead and gave us these uh, barnwood style uh, backing to the wall there. It really finishes the room off nicely, and they finished it with a uh, padded headrest. Now on either side of the head of the bed, each occupant gets their own two-tiered shelving that is large enough to accommodate a sleep apnea mask. Um, there's 110 volt outlets here, and then on the other side, there's a 110 volt outlet as well as USBs. Underneath the bed is standard storage, but I do want to note that the entryway into this bedroom is double wide. They've actually given us these really beautiful uh, kind of French door style entryway into the master bedroom. So you can see they're finished with that frosted glass. They're very, very pretty, and uh, that wider entry gives the trailer a much larger feel. Well, thank you all for coming on this walkthrough of the new 2020 Sport Trek 241 VMS. As you can tell, this is a great couples coach for those that like to travel long distances. There is plenty of storage in this coach, not to forget the uh, wonderful outdoor kitchen outside too. So if this unit has caught your interest and you wanna see more, check us out online, minorsleisureworld.com. And keep in mind, we have two locations now to serve you better, one here in Weyburn and also in Watrous, Saskatchewan. 
I hope to see you soon.